Good morning to you and welcome back. Many of us are waking up to temperatures extremely warmer than we were this time yesterday. Anywhere between about 10 to almost 25 degrees warmer than this time yesterday morning. Currently temperatures a little bit on the warmer side. Many of us waking up to those upper 50s, 59 in Grand Rapids, mostly clear skies. Winds, however, are pretty bustling. They are pushing in pretty quickly this morning from the south. When it comes to our temperatures, many of us, especially off to our south, are waking up to a little bit cooler, mainly in those lower to mid 50s. The further north we get, the more we're starting to see these temperatures climb, even flirting with those 60s along the lakeshore. However, spots in um, our northern portions of the viewing area are a little bit cooler, where we were looking at 48 in Sparta and 44 in Big Rapids. So still a little bit on the cooler side in some spots, but you will warm up relatively quickly with the addition of sunshine later this morning. Southerly winds are infusing those warmer breezes into our region. A lot of these winds anywhere between about 5 to 15 miles an hour. We're seeing some gustier winds up in Muskegon. Some of those individual gusts making it up into the 20s, 25 here in Grand Rapids and then 29 in Muskegon. So just make sure to have all of those Halloween decorations tied down if you haven't already. Some of the upcoming days could also be pretty windy, so make sure to have them tied down. When it comes to satellite and radar, we're seeing just a couple passing clouds, but overall lots of clear skies. A nice zoom out shows that almost all of the Midwest is pretty clear this morning as well. So good news. We're going to continue to see those clear skies throughout the day today. Those winds really starting to ramp up from the south headed into this afternoon into this evening. Headed into Sunday, we'll start to see just a little bit of cloud cover beginning to develop from the south moving to the north. However, this cloud cover will be pretty spotty and will actually have a lot of sunshine still pushing through bringing us some of those sunny skies for our Sunday. More cloud cover will develop ahead of our Monday, bringing us the chances for some of those spottier showers Monday and then becoming more widespread headed into midweek. For today, temperatures rise to 73 degrees. This is 15 degrees higher than what we tend to see on average this time of year. On average, we're hitting a, a normal temperature, a normal high temperature of 58 degrees. So we are much warmer, a lot sunnier, and our winds are pushing in from the south a lot stronger at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. For tonight, our overnight lows are only three degrees higher than what we should be hitting as highs for this time of year. So a lot warmer, it feels like late summer, early fall. We are going to start to see those temperatures dip, but enjoy the free air conditioning tonight. You can turn off the heat and enjoy this because this is going to stick around for a couple of days. We're also going to have some very strong breezes at night, some of which could bump up to 15 miles an hour. We'll continue to see those 70s headed into the rest of the uh, weekend into the 70s for Monday. A really weak cold front is going to start to push through. That will then drop our temperatures headed into Tuesday and Wednesday. We could start to see some evening showers develop on Tuesday, but a bulk of those showers will actually fall on Wednesday. After that, they'll clear out relatively quickly. However, the downside is that we're going to start to see those temperatures returning to the mid 50s, which is average for this time of year. So don't get me wrong, it's not a bad thing. But after being treated to these 70s, it might feel a little shocking and it might feel a little bit chillier than what we want, but it is what we should see for our averages.